Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Batman film, which is coming out in 2021. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC videos later this year. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the Batman, and we're going to be talking about this film a lot more in the coming few weeks, months, and, you know, up to when it's coming out, because I feel like I need to cover this film because I'm really excited and I want to cover more of the DC films like I used to do and I just want to get back on it. So we're going to be talking about this, we're going to be talking about what we know so far about this. I've reached out to my friend Daniel RPK who some of you may know on Twitter, he's very big, and he's told me everything that I need to know about what's going to be happening and also there is some extra stuff that you may not know which I'm going to be talking about as well. So a massive thanks to him and without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video. So what we know so far, it's set in modern day, it's a standalone film for now. As far as we know obviously if it is very successful I guess there might be some sequels and stuff like that. Maybe they'll link it to the DCEU after all. And then also we know it's going to be a focus on Bruce Wayne in his second year as Batman so it's not Batman year one it's Batman year two and we've got a detective story it is sort of like a noir as the director has said it's also a murder mystery with multiple villains that's what we know as far as the villains and i've got more to talk about in regards to them later in the video so stick around for that and it's also the first batman film to be set as a proper detective story obviously you've had the elements of him being a detective but you've never had a flat out detective story for batman before so this is the first time and also it's the first time to have Batman in a world where all of his villains are already active and out there, like in the comics and the animated series. So that is new to what's happening. And so the film is also inspired by The Long Halloween, which is a run in the comics that is very, very popular. And it's also going to be set during Halloween. So this is what we know so far. And I think modern day, good. That's going to be good, you know, so you can have all the tech and stuff like that. Standalone, I think it would be amazing if it was a standalone like Joker, and obviously I wouldn't be opposed to having it being connected to the rest, but I feel like the idea of what they're going for is a bit different from what you've seen in the DCEU before, so I would say standalone is best for now, and so focus on Bruce on second year as Batman, you know, that's really cool because we've seen him obviously in Batman Begins, We've seen a version where he's been training, he isn't Batman yet, and then you see in Batman vs Superman, you actually see Batman, he's like fully fledged, he's been Batman for years. So I don't think as far as I can recall we've ever had a Batman story where it's like the second year or like the first year like in the comics like Batman year one. So I'm excited for that. Also it being a detective story I think is probably the most intriguing bit about it all because it's a murder mystery. He has to find out who's murdered all these politicians, as we'll get to in a second, and it leads to some certain villains, and that is very, very exciting. Okay, so let's move on. So the Riddler is set to be the main villain, or so it seems, that is what I've been told, and he starts killing people during election month. He's killing politicians, as I just previously said, and he writes on their bodies, no more lies, and so Batman is investigating this. So, seeing the Riddler back on screen is really exciting, we haven't seen him in a very long time, I think he's one of the best Batman villains, and it seems like Paul Dano is actually playing the Riddler, which is a great casting choice, I really like it, I think this cast is really really solid, and something to really get excited for, obviously Robert Pattinson is Batman, that is beyond exciting, he's an amazing actor, if you've seen him in The Lighthouse or anything like that, or like High Life, so good. Anyway, so yeah, having the Riddler as the main villain is obviously very different and I think that's a good thing because you've had like Joker, you've had Bane, you've had all these other villains over the past. Obviously Joker is the consistent one and Catwoman is the consistent one that always comes back as well. So it's good to have someone who is more in the forefront who is a bit different. Obviously you've had Penguin in the past with the old Batmans with Michael Keaton. And they are actually bringing back Penguin, which is very exciting. So there is a lot of other villains in smaller roles, according to Daniel and according to people online. So apparently the Riddler and Penguin are the main ones. So apparently the Riddler is like the main, main one. And then the Penguin is like maybe just underneath him, but he's nearly as big. So Penguin is a crime boss in this film. 
and he's also running during the elections as well and so Batman has to run into his path at one point and I'm guessing the Riddler and the Penguin are going to end up maybe working together or they're going to be like opposing each other which could have something to do with that the Penguin is actually running during this election and the Riddler is killing the politicians who are running during the election so maybe they have some sort of deal together where the Penguin becomes the mayor or whatever he's running to actually become with the help of the Riddler and the Riddler obviously doesn't like these politicians and what's going on and the Penguin is working with him I think that would make complete sense and considering the Penguin is a crime boss he would probably have someone like the Riddler working for him. Also it has been said that there is maybe going to be a secret villain that we don't know about as of right now to be the real killer because we're not actually sure if it's exactly just the Riddler killing all these people or is the murder mystery a lot bigger than that. I think it's going to be a lot more complicated than just one person like it's obviously the Riddler. I think there is going to be some sort of twist in that and that's just me. But anyway, so Jim Gordon in this, Commissioner Gordon is going to be Batman's Watson, that is what has been said, and Catwoman is going to be his Irene Adler, so if you've seen Sherlock, you know what I'm talking about. So it's obviously very exciting to see Jim Gordon back, and it's exciting to see Catwoman. Obviously, we'll have to wait and see about the casting. I think Jim Gordon has been cast great. I'm not so sure about Catwoman. I like her in Fantastic Beasts, but that's all I've seen her in. Anyway, so... Apparently, we're also going to be getting the smaller villains, like I previously mentioned, and that may be the Mad Hatter, and also another villain, which we'll talk about in a sec. But I think the Mad Hatter is a really interesting idea, because I don't remember the last time I saw him on the screen. Has he ever been in a live-action film? I don't think so. He's been in the animated series and different, you know, iterations, obviously in the comics, he's a big character, but... I'm really excited to see him in live action because I don't remember seeing him ever. So, also the other villain that is rumoured to appear is Firefly, who is a smaller villain in the Batman comics, but he's still a decently big villain, and these two are going to be in the background somewhere, and apparently there is also someone burning places in the film, like buildings, so that could be Firefly and that would make a lot of sense. And... I was actually on the set when they were filming, like when was it, it was sometime earlier, like at the end of last year, or the start of this year, and so they were filming in London, and they were actually burning down a place, so yeah, I can confirm that something along those lines is happening, and it would make a lot of sense if that was Firefly, and apparently there are two twin goons who are going to be appearing, and that could be Tweedledum and Tweedledee, according to Daniel, and additionally, the final thing we need to talk about Apparently, we may be getting a tease for Robin for a sequel. I guess it's going to be kind of similar to what happened in The Dark Knight Rises, in that maybe you don't inherently straight away say, oh, this is Robin, but then you get the tease and, you know, the way it ends sort of sets up the next film. But obviously, it's not going to be the same because you're not going to have him in the whole film like you did in The Dark Knight Rises. This is obviously its own iteration. And so I think the idea of getting a tease for Robin for the sequel is a really interesting idea because I would love to see Robin on screen again. It's been a while. Obviously, you had this version of Robin in The Dark Knight Rises, who is amazing. I think he's one of the best characters probably to ever be related to Robin. And I think Joseph Gordon-Levitt does an excellent job. But I'm excited to see a new version, a modern version, because before then... When was the last time we saw Robin actually suited up? Obviously, we've got Titans and everything, so we've seen that, and he's really great on there. But I mean in, like, the live-action films, when was the last time? It's been a long time, so I'm excited to see that, and hopefully we do get that tease for the sequel. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video on the Batman. Subscribe if you want to see more DC videos and more DC EU videos as we head towards the coming of Wonder Woman and this film and lots of other DC films. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.